Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ado fo me chia chia mo nyina me gidi se mo hu ye. Me so me hu ye. I'm doing good. I'm fine. Uh, ye chia obi biara, obi biara o hwe yen. Obi biara nso aye share video video na obi hu a hwe yen aso ya de no. Ye chia mo so e chi amu nyina me gidi se obo ade no abo mo ho ban se na oye ne da no me so wa bo me ho ban thank you very much for being a loyal follower i thank you very much for loving what we are sharing with you i thank you very much for your uh support and everything uh there is uh uh some people that because of the way, uh, the time and all that, uh, which I would love to greet them, but maybe we'll do that another time. All of you that have been supporting with your strength, some of you support sometimes with your, your, your uh, you give us economical support, financial support, you give us sometimes, you give us uh, courage, you speak to us, you motivate us, a lot of you over there, some of you that when we be insulted oh, under uh, under our own page, you defend us. We thank you very much. Oh. We're greeting you. Some of you that are watching, and because of stigmatization, because of you being labeled, you don't want to comment. We are greeting you as oh. well. Those of you too watching us, and you oh. think uh, we are doing shoddy work, we think we are doing foolish work, we think we are doing we are not doing anything oh. better. You think oh. we are doing oh. some. Dear followers, like um the other video we did, the previous one was about some few turns in the figure which is known as Jesus the Christ few teachings and few things about it like uh, that figure's life right now uh, to uh, this particular one me person me no discuss it be be effa the same figure no in the life in the teachings but in a different abrahamic faith uh that is islam and before doing that i would like to tell you this Abrahamic faith are very good in backup for each other. They support each other. They try to support each other. They try to, 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 they are, they, they have this chameleon. Abrahamic faith has this chameleon uh, attitude. Omu, omu, omu ye omu nyama som stabi. Ube mu se, u, u, u ste di omu ana, ube mu se ase. Omu ya se, omu ya de kuro. Ba, edu bebi ya, na ba ako ya te se, o ya difa, o ya ko, o ya fa different way. All in the name se, they want to appear like they are different. They want to portray, they want to exhibit themselves to you as se, omu ya different. Ba, ni kuro nye miye ni, omu ya de kuro. So, I don't know how to call it, whether I should call it, uh, they have a mind game. They play mind game. Until when you're smarter, they told the who study or move Abrahamic faith, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. That is what they are. Who study or move to Obeshanu? No more bet. They say Omuya the crow. Omuya the crow. But who could do baby? Na I say Omuya. They say Omu nimu Omu huo baby. And then again, in doing this, yes, I am who I say I am. We look alike. We don't look alike. We are similar. We are not similar. The similarities and there is no similarities. No, they end up doing some work of copy and paste, like they copy informations from each other. They copy informations from the each from each other. So something like Judaism being the mother of the Abrahamic faith, or no major source. No, after now and then Christianity. I got some information. No, be our Juda Judaism. No, and our dear blend up now. Why any dear? And Islam did the same thing. 
are key information so no, from Christianity. But when you monitor them, they appear to be like Omu ya de kro, Omu kwa no Omu ya Omu to say they be a different in as well. This is what they have been doing, and this is how they appear to people. Because of that, they have this backup then. Ube won say Omu pese, Omu pese Omu nya support niya ebe baba kwe chino. E pese en kan chire na be diye chire fuwa se. Ba kuna wodi kai ba ye mponu o kame huwa o ka, o kame huwa sem. The one that came before me, that the faith before me has said something about me. He has prophesied about me. He has spoken about me that I will be coming. So I'm also coming from the, sa the same source. Do you know why? Because they are saying that they are taking you to God. So if the first one says it is coming from God, and another one is coming out. And they also didn't say their source is coming from the same God. You will not accept them. You will not go with them. Only your monk. Over stick it to back on our see Yamin Yamihon F. Iban. Only your monk. And then look at this. Until the third one, no suba, no, no su ya trese, or no suba, one or fee. So this is what they've been doing. This is how they do their things. Because of that, you see back, that is why you see the prophecy. Of the coming of Jesus the Christ was forced, forced by 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 hook and crook. They want to pick the they want they want to pick prophecies from the Old Testament to tell you that Judaism as a religious uh, a, a, a body coming from God no is aware of the coming of Jesus Christ. Onuba be a later a fapimana foundation for Christianity, and then. Third one by no Islam on so by no and on so I bet I say what picking informations from Judaism and our picking informations from Christianity. I hope so true so mume no no ka so mu free nya me ho nto mume no aka yen so o mu aka Islam ho asem say ye be ba so they are also coming from the same source. You see the game that is why they plenty always no be so mu person mu ya back up at the mom ho. Now this is how they do the thing. They are fan of this game of some of our tribes in Africa, in Ghana to be precise. There are some tribes, they are very united against a different tribe. When there's a stranger among them, they try to come together and stand against the stranger. But when the stranger is gone, their own tribe men, they have their challenges. That is what they are doing. So, Abrahamic faith, all the three Abrahamic faith, they are like, they, they are able to bind them, themselves together against any other faith, against any other religion, against any other belief. But among themselves, they try to say that they are different. Now, in the, dif in the differentiation, for them, for them, in this, distinguishing themselves this is what they do they try to claim superiority one of them try to be to, to feel like it is superior than the other or the other is inferior than the other say na omu ya omu adie. so you see that they want backup christianity want backup from the old testament and then quran uh, 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 islam want backup from uh, from new testament and also the old testament this is the game this is the reality this is the reality. Take it or leave it. This is the reality. Now, when we spoke about some of the teachings and life, life, the life, the figure Jesus the Christ lived, we've point, we've gave out some point, we've given some list of some points, but all those points we've given, I intentionally didn't mention the key work. The key purpose of the coming of Christ according to Christianity. The key purpose according to Christianity. The key purpose of coming of the Christ is to come and die for our sins. This is, this is really, really pathetic. This is another issue. This is another problem. But we will discuss that one. We will talk about it. <laughs> we will get there. I think the next episode after this. Is about Christ's death and in, in Christianity and Islam. 
and that in Christianity and the twin sister or the twin brother, Islam. Now, because they want backup, that's what they do. So in the, the main coming, the main purpose of coming of the Christ, according to Christianity or Christology, that is, is um or base or be wu a pepaya boni or the mimoja ebe pepaya boni na or the pepaya boni we are na our maya down kwa logically let me tell you how this idea is detrimental you know so many people have talked about this idea that the idea is detrimental the idea is problematic the problematic the idea has error and all that all those things they've said it and how can someone that is not where i'm going to now some have mentioned this um uh, this uh, uh idea being like idea of and then i will be your mark and then in fact in zongo communities in our communities several debates has been held between Christians and their twin brothers or their twin sister, Islam, concerning the death of the Christ. But let me tell you, let me tell you, the issue of the death of the Christ in Islam is as confused as in Christianity, even if not more. We will get there. Islam made the death of Christ the most confused thing. Kramosum aye Christo wo the most confused thing. Unim metrao yanyan buho. Now let's come to the how Islam portray him. You know we've mentioned few things over there. Uh, let's mention how Islam portray him in Christianity. The key purpose, the sole purpose of the coming of Christ, Jesus, is that, Messiah, is that he's here to die for our sins. Yes. But in Islam, no. He's not here to die for our sins. In Christianity or in Christendom, Jesus the Christ is a <laughs> is a divine incarnate he is god incarnate he is god in flesh he is god in flesh but in islam no he's just a human being you see the game the mind game i'm talking about now a few days ago we did a video and we mentioned that the existence of this figure is questionable. If you don't exercise patience, you will just end up by saying that none, nobody like Jesus Christ, the way he has been portrayed, has been ever existed. We said it. Now, a figure that has so many inconsistencies, irregularities in the life, a shaky, a shaky figure, a shadow figure in history has ended up has been confirmed in Islam. Fine. Now, in Christianity, Christ is divine incarnate, God incarnate, God in flesh. But in Islam, no. Christ, Jesus Christ, who is known as Isa, Bunumariam, which in Hebrew or Aramaic would have been Esau, the son of Mary is just a messenger. He is just an apostle in Islam. He is just an apostle who came to deliver the message of God. Who came to deliver the message of God. And that's all. That's all. He came to teach and deliver the message of God. He is not God incarnate. In Christianity... The sole purpose of the coming of Jesus is to die for our sins. Or whoever believes in him, the blood will wash away the person's sins and the person will attain salvation. In Islam, no, that is a fallacy. Now, let's check some three verses in the Quran to see 
what is the life or what is the work or why is who is Jesus Christ or what is Jesus came here on the planet Earth to do? Ha! Abrahamic faith. Abrahamic faith. One man one dream and down who are home. This is the term. We have a chapter in the Quran which is known as Surah to Nisa in Arabic. Surah to Nisa. The word Surah means chapter. And Nisa means woman. So Surah to Nisa means the chapter of the woman. In terms of chronology, the chapter of woman or Surah to Nisa in the Quran is Quran chapter number four. Quran chapter number four. In this very chapter, something has said, and it is said profound denial and rejection and debunking the issue of Jesus being divine incarnate and Jesus also being sent to die for other people's sons. Now, Quran chapter number four, which is Surah to Nisa. Verse 171, Quran chapter number 4, verse 171, this is what the verse got to say. The verse says, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, the word Ya in Arabic, it's a word we use to draw attention, a word we use to call someone. In English, mostly they translate that word as O. Oh, so when you say Ya Maryam, they translate it as Ya Ma Ya Oh Mary Ya Maryam Oh Ya Ma Oh Mary. This is how they translate it. The verse Quran chapter number four verse one hundred and seventy one says Ya Ahl al Kitab Oh you people of the book people of the book. Now anytime you see the word Ahl al Kitab. People of the book in the Quran, it is referring to the two Abrahamic faith that came before Islam, meaning Judaism and Christianity. Ahl al-Kitab. Judaism and Jews and Christians are the people being referred to in the Quran as Ahl al-Kitab, the people of the book. Maybe the reason is that they were the first people to document their custom, their tradition, or whatever they have in a book. Maybe. Because most of people in ancient times seems not to have uh, 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 the, 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 the attitude or the act of documentation on books. We will discuss how history has been documented, how some of these things came to us. That will be another topic. But when you hear Ahl al-Kitab in the Quran, the people, anytime you see the people of the book in the Quran, it is referring to Christians and Jews. Ya Ahl al-Kitab. Ya is a word that they use to draw attention, to call you. In Arabic, they call it harful nida, the letter or the word of calling. The word of drawing an attention. So, oh, you, Ahl al Kitab, the people of the book, la taglu fi dinikum. Don't be excessive in your religion. Don't be exaggerate. Don't exaggerate in your religion. La taglu fi dinikum. Don't be excessive. Do not be excessive in your religion. This is Quran speaking. Do not be excessive in your religion. Do not exaggerate your religion. Fidinikum. Wala taqulu ala Allahi illa al-haq. And those do not say anything about Allah. Do not say anything about God unless it is truth. This is profound statement. Very, very profound. Very, very profound statement. Don't say, do you not, do you not exact, oh, people of the book here, because this issue is, is, a, is going to center whatever the Quran want to establish in this verse. 
is going to center on Jesus Christ. So the Alul Kitab here is specifically for Christians. The Alul Kitab is a Quranic term for Jews and Christians. But in this particular context, it is referring to Christians because it is the matter of, it is the issue of Jesus Christ that the verse is trying to rectify, that the verse is trying to clarify. Now, he says, Don't be excessive. Don't, do not exaggerate in your religion. And don't say anything about Allah. Don't say anything about God. Unless it is truth. So, in other words, logically, logically, what it means is that this particular portion of the verse is saying, do not lie about God. So, Quran is telling Christians should not lie about God. Okay. That is the other side of the verse. And the verse says, for al who the Messiah for the Messiah, Isa, who is known as Isa, Jesus, Ibn Maryam, the son of Mary, he is nothing except Rasulullah. He is an apostle of God. He is an apostle of God. He is a messenger of God. So this is one of the arguments between a Christian and a Muslim. To a Christian, Jesus the Christ is a divine incarnate, God in human flesh. To a Muslim, no, Jesus the Christ is only a messenger, only an apostle from God. Interesting. Abrahamic feet. Hmm. Interesting. One, the, the, the first attribute given to Jesus in this verse, one, an apostle of God. Wakelimatuhu. And also, after Jesus being the apostle of God, he is also Kelimatuhu, the word of God. He is also the word of God. Kelima to who? The word who in that in this portion is what they call Domirul Mutasil. It is a pronoun which here it says it refers to his. So in Namal Masihu, the Messiah, who is known as Isa. Jesus, Ibn Maryam, the son of Mary, is nothing but Rasulullah, one, an apostle of Allah, an apostle of God. And we are point back. Number two, what kelima to who, after him being the apostle of Allah, he is also the word of Allah. Now, does this where the word of Allah here or the word of God here made you remember make you to remember a, a, a particular biblical verse John 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God like, I hope you get it. Yes. What kelima to who? He's an apostle of Allah. He's an apostle of God. What kelima to who? And he's also the word of Allah or the word of God. When I say Islam and Christianity are twin brothers or twin sisters, you think I'm joking. Maybe this is not enough. You can still argue. But we will get to the main point. Where you know that it is the same thing. What can you do? So it's also the word of Allah. Al-Kaha, which he has three. Al-Kaha, he has given. It's a word from him 
is a word from him which he has given Ila Mariam to Mary. A word from God, a word from Allah. After Jesus being the apostle of Allah, he is also a word of Allah which Allah gave to Mary. And he is also waruhum minhu. And he is also a spirit from Allah. He is also a spirit from God. So look at the attribute that has been given to Jesus here. In this Quran chapter number 4 verse 171. Look at the attribute. The first attribute is apostle of Allah or apostle of God. That is Rasulullah. And again, Kalimatuhu, the second attribute is the word of Allah or the word of God. And the third attribute is Ruhu, 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 Ruhu Minu, the spirit of Allah or the spirit of God. Now, in these three attributes, it is only one that is arguable and disputable between Christians and Muslims. But all the two, the remaining two, are agreed upon between Christians and Muslims. And you are telling me Christianity is different. Islam is different. Masa, come again. Yase, me no care. Come on. Come on. Me no care. Quran chapter number four. Quran chapter number four. Verse 171. Three attributes being given to Christ in this verse. The only attribute that is arguable here is the attribute of apostle. For Christians, Jesus is not just an apostle. Jesus is a divine incarnate. And he is also here to die for sins. So this is where Christians and Muslims differ. But the remaining two, as Jesus as a word of Allah, word of God, the same thing Christians affirm and confirm this. And Jesus as a spirit of God, which Quran, this verse confirms, Christians also confirm this. Now, you have, you, are, you have disputed with someone on only one term and agree with him in two. And you think you are, and you think we are different from him, Masa. And uh, you are not thinking right. You are not thinking right. This is it. Now, let's go to the anti. After the attribute, this is what the verse has to say. Fa'aminu billahi, munjinya mindi. Believe in Allah. Believe in God. Warusuluhi, and in also believe in His apostles. In his messengers. Munji na midi. Na munji. Na suma fuononso. Edi. Rusul. Is a plural form of Rasul. Rasul in Arabic is one messenger. Or one apostle. Rusul is plenty. Plural. And one on jamu. Warusul hi. And the verse continues. So wala takulu thalatha. Don't say trinity. Don't believe trinity. Don't utter Trinity. So here, another point of difference. Quran is telling the Arabic kitab, the Christian, that they shouldn't believe in Trinity. They shouldn't believe in Trinity. Already, the verse somehow has broken down one angle of the Trinity. That is the angle of not accepting Jesus as a divine incarnate. So the Trinity has been broken. The only the only aspect of the Trinity, the triangle girl, that has left in the verse is the word of Allah, Jesus being the word of Allah and also being the spirit of Allah. I don't know. What is the difference between the word and the spirit? That is not the, this is not the time for that. We will get there. So the Trinity, that the angle of the Trinity is clear. If, if the verse were to accept the fact that Jesus is the in, divine incarnate, and then adding to the being the word of God and being the spirit of God, the Trinity is complete. But here, look at the game. This Abrahamic book, Quran, has broken one leg or one angle of the triangle and left two. 
wo bu ba ko ela wa jai ba ko you see so and then he says munjin tum aminu billah wa rusulihi wa la taqulu thalatha don't say trinity don't utter trinity in simple words don't believe in trinity in tahaw in tahu khairan lakum stop the trinity belief stop the trinity doctrine uh osi khairan lakum that is the better for you that's the best for you stop the trinity that is the best for you and the verse says inama ilahu inama allah and misimu nukran nukran did i'm saying to you that allah god ilahu wahid is only one god monotheism nyame ba kope subhanahu kron kron nini din glory glory be to him an yakuna lahu waladun asidan na wanyaba asidan na wawo glory be to him and he is not god he is not a uh, is he has no child on ni akwala on wo ye lahu ma fi samawati nemum ade e wo e suru wo ma fi al-ard ani asasi mu e ye ni dia oh he has no child so son of god son of god no another point of division between christians and muslims As, and he says all the things that are in the heavens and all the things are that are in earth are for him and he says wa kafa billahi wakila he is enough for you to depend upon he is a dependable god he is a dependable allah this is what quran says about what jesus is here for it's interesting right so in life and teachings of jesus christ between quran and the bible there's a slight difference this is the mind game i'm talking about if there's a trinity three important things and you ena we bubu ba kun ena wa jami ni akoye ti se yanuya jolo fa ye di kako eni wele eni yemade ye fe ma anuya o se jolo fu no eni kako ni wele no u be di enu eye ne mum kanzo no de ase enu enu enye that is how it looks like ante na u blemi obi a onu wo di jolo fu ni ni kako ni ni yemade enu a wa se di kanzo na ka hunu who blame me say i don't think i went with the kanzo no kanzo ni nye this is how it looks like oh, wow if it's interesting and it's love you 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 enjoy it and you like it share it for me let other people learn it we are turning the other side of the coin when the realities of life is uncovered change is a must this is muhammad ali says with you stick to the page there's a lot you gonna teach just follow the videos and see what we are dropping it's a banger man i got to tell you this we've got a lot and to we'll meet again my cherished viewers my lovers my followers i say to you bye bye